Hi folks, we're back with more Rivet Basics training and we have went through all of our forms that we've been looking through here. So now we want to look at the void forms here. So we're going to select the void and see as you can see, you get the same types of things that we did with the, let's see, there's your Revolve, and there's your Void Suite. and your sweet blend but today we're going to walk through this void uh, this simple one the simple void square okay so now what you want to do here in these cases is you want to create another family so I'm going to go in and introduce you to a new family template here so we're going to be new family <coughs> Uh, we want to go over to English Imperial and we want to look at generic model face based template. So we we'll open this template up and you have this square, this form inside and it's a base face so whatever we use this is going to attach to a face so I'm going to quickly draw these parameters in. Let's see. here and so it's basically doing another box you know but there's only difference here is we have this this face <clears throat> so now we want to go and get the parameters equal here to here and the same way this way and then we want to come here and give it we'll select this and give it a parameter uh, I guess we'll say this is the width. Yep. And we'll make this an instance parameter. Now, you don't always use instance parameters in type situations, but in this situation, it, it might be good, or you can always change it back. Okay. Uh, here. Just want to grab a link. Yep. So also that instance. I'm going to say OK there. Now we want to go here now and create our void extrusion. And we'll just select this here void form, void extrusion. And we'll pick. We'll clean this up. We'll finish it. Uh, we'll make sure it flexes. Always want to flex your families. Uh, we got the bulbs, and let's make this one six. Let's see what happened there. This two feet. All good now. Okay, here's what's different now about this and the other box. Let's go to our front elevation here. And there we have this void form right here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a parameter, a, a reference plane. about that depth or any depth I want because I'm going to give it a parameter here there to there and I'm going to call this guy depth or whatever you want to call it but it's going to be instance parameter 
Okay. Okay, now I want to align this to this. that backwards I think to that to that and let's test this depth thing out see if it'll work so depth is let's make it one foot here well let's make it six inches okay so we're good to go see what this looks like in 3d okay now I think we want to cut this here. I think. Uh, boy, geometry here. And then this. There we go. Get that in shaded view. So that's our family that we created. Now let's go and load this into our, our other project. just place it there okay so there's our family in our project and you can see these little handles on the family let's go and look at this in our 3d view okay so there's our family our void form so now what you can do here you can select this go into your properties and these are our different dimension so we can make this uh, one foot six we can go and change this to say make this a little smaller make this one by one so basically with the instance parameter we can do anything we want with these And then you can also do this. You can go into your, you can grab these pull arrows in a reference level here and just sort of drag things into place. See what I mean? So that's pretty cool how that works. And you can also copy these guys over. You can take this guy and copy it. Now, with it being an instance primary, um, it may work out pretty good, but sometimes you want to have different types, and then that's when you want to give a type parameter or a type family type. So again, guys, I just wanted to show you just how to do void forms. So there's our voids, and then you can do, you know, all of these, basically. I just wanted to give you a rough, rough basic of how you do voids in Revit 2023. Um, again, they're very simple. Like I said, you can copy this guy, but which we always remember, um, you can go and do everything right from here. I didn't want to change that. I'm going to change some width. Uh, length. Let's make this three. So that's basically how you do that, guys. So hey, folks. Um, Thanks for watching my video. Hope this helps. And we'll continue on with our family's basics. Uh, hey, but guys, but again, thanks for watching my video. I'll see you in the next video. Everybody be safe and just see what that looks like. Everybody be safe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Please subscribe.